Yeah, so in the terms and conditions of Airbnb, they don't actually guarantee that the property that a person is renting is even real. Like they don't require that it actually exists. Um, turns out Does like- I can rent something online. Yeah, you, if you rent an Airbnb and it doesn't actually exist, that's, mm -hmm. it turns out like in Airbnb's terms and conditions, they make that your fault. Like it's your responsibility to know as a renter if the property is real or not. Not the person who owns the property. Yeah, so there's a system to exploit there. Like if you, uh, and, and it's actually a bit tricky now because Airbnb got in a bit of hot water for this. So now they completely shut off all applications for creating new properties, uh, for, for listing new like uh, rental locations. But if, if it opens back up, you could, someone can make a bot like that, uh, you know, creates accounts, like random strings of characters for names and things like that, or gets like a list of names from the internet or something, and then makes a list of like common house rules and just checks everything off and then just generates a bunch of new properties. This is like totally illegal, I'm sure. But, um, and then just has all the money set to PayPal because, or however they'll pay it out. Right. And because it's totally illegal, like yeah. it's like yeah, a complete so scam. So yeah. Dirty. It's a complete scam, but it, there's a real, there's a real exploit in there that someone could probably do, you know, but yeah, that was just a idea that crossed my mind. I would never actually do it, but it's an idea that crossed my mind too risky, too risky.